Welcome to another tutor short provided by the Educational Support Services Department of Lehigh Carbon Community College in Snexville, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Allentown. These videos review key learnings for the science courses provided here at LTRIC. And please remember that the Educational Support Services Department does provide walk in tutoring five days a week. Let's take a look at naming compounds when they contain a polyatomic ion. Because polyatomic ions are generally negative sign or negatively charged, uh, they combine well with metals. So I show here in red, typically what you'll have is a metal combining with a polyatomic ion. Before we get to, to talk about naming that, we, uh, we have to learn uh, the names of the polyatomic ions. What I show here on this page is a, um, some common polyatomic ions that uh, do have a little bit of an order um, to them to make it a little bit simpler to remember um, these particular ions. Others, you'll see on the next page, just have unique names and you just have to memorize them. But at least these, this is a one way, hopefully can help you uh, to remember and memorize uh, at least these common polyatomic ions. The first ones I'm going to deal with um, are these in the middle here, uh, the ones with the nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus combined with oxygen. And so a way to focus here is just inside this box. Um, if you look at just this box, um, this pertains on the left here, the name, you'll see a, a suffix of ite, I-T-E or A-T-E. And um, along this row, uh, let's look at the ITE row here. This is because it's N, this is nit nitrite. It would be N-I-T-R-I-T-E, nitrite. If it's this, it's sulfite. And if it's P, it's phosphite. Um, and so you add the ITE to the, pref uh, to the um, prefix NS or or P, so nitrite, sulfite, or phosphite. And similarly, if you go down to the next one, it's A-T-E, it'd be nitrate for this one, sulfate, and phosphate. Um, so with these uh, six polyatomic ions here, let me clean this up a bit, you have um, a little bit of, a, of an order here to remember. I like to start with the... Um, ATE, the nitrate, sulfate, and phosphate. Uh, I remember the order. It's nitrogen, then sulfur, and then uh, phosphorus. So N, S, and P. The, the uh, one thing that's good about that, the charge. If you notice, this is minus one, minus two, and minus three. So they go in that order. Uh, so remembering NSP in that order, your charges of your ions uh, just increase by one. Minus one, minus two, minus three. Uh, the oxygen, a little bit different. You start with three with nitrate. And then sulfur and the, and the phosphorus uh, ions here have one more um, oxygen. So it's four and four. This one starts with three. So three, four, and four. When you um, go to the ITE group, it's always one less oxygen and everything else stays the same. So you go from here to there up to nitrite. All you do is drop one oxygen and you're to NO2. Your charge stays the same, still minus one. Sulf, uh, sulfite here, is just one less oxygen and phosphite is just one less oxygen than phosphate. And the charges stay the same. So in this little box here, you know, that at least gives my head uh, an ability to memorize this. There's a little bit of an order here. And I just try to remember NSP, uh, the oxygens, um, the ite is always one less oxygen. The charge is one, two, and three, you know, minus one, minus two, minus three. And then I have to try to remember that on the eight, it starts with three and then goes to fours. Um, and that's how um, at least I go about remembering these. Now, if we leave uh, those polyatomic ions now, and we go to the last column over there, 
there's sort of another uh, another set of ions that have a similar order. So we're not going to think about these anymore. We're going to think about oxygen combining with the halogens. These are the halogens here, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Um, oxygen will combine with those um, in a nice order here. If you notice, uh, one oxygen going to two, to three, to four. And I'm showing here as an example chlorine. That's the one you'll uh, use the most in your uh, chemistry course, particularly here at LTRIC at Chem 106. Um, you really don't deal much with the fluorine, bromine, or iodine forms of these ions. But um, you'll see the halogen combines with oxygen in one, two, three, four order. The charge is minus one and it always stays minus one. So whether you use fluorine or bromine or iodine or chlorine, uh, the charges are always minus one for these. And, um, and then if you move over here on the left, how do you name them? You still have the ITE and the ATE forms, but then you have to add, because you have four here, you have to add a hypo, uh, a prefix, hypo on an I and per on an eight. So if there's a here, if there's only one oxygen, let's use the chlorine, it'd be hypo chlor ite. If there's two oxygen, it's just chlorite. If there's three oxygens, it's chlorate. And if there's four oxygens, it's per chlorate. And it could be fluorate or bromate um, or iodite. So um, again, just looking from here and over to here, there's at least some order here that might help you remember that at least these halogens combining with oxygen and making these common polyatomic ions. So now to complete just um, the idea of naming a compound with these, you just add the metal on the front sort of like you do with uh, ionic compounds because these really are ionic. Uh, if we take, for example, sodium, Let's add sodium to some of these, UM. Sodium, you know, Na, and when it combines an ionic bond, it has a nice plus one charge. So if we had, let's take example, sodium nitrate. Nitrate is this one, NO3 minus one. And so you would have Na, it was a plus one charge with NO3 minus one, and they balance out nicely. And you'd have Na, NO3. So that's sodium nitrate. One thing I will mention is I like to keep, always show my polyatomics within parentheses, even when there's only one. Um, some of textbooks and some of your teachers uh, may not like this form here because they say you only add the parentheses around the polyatomic if you're going to have a subscript, a two or a three or a four. If it's just one, you don't use the parentheses. That's up for your teacher. Um, and so, um, you know, do need to pay attention to that. Um, I like to always show the parentheses because that helps me to remember that I'm dealing with a polyatomic. Now, if we had sodium, let's say sulfite, in this case, we have the sodium. You're going to have SO3 as your sulfite, but it has a minus two charge. So in order to do that, I need two sodiums so that I get a plus two uh, charge of sodiums to balance off the minus two for sulfate. And then same thing, let's say we did sodium, phos uh, sorry, sodium phosphate. You would have sodium, you'd have your phosphate, which is PO4, but because it's a minus three, you would need three sodiums. So this would be sodium phosphate. Uh, you don't put a prefix in front of the word sodium. You know, you don't do disodium or trisodium. This is similar to ionics. You do not need the prefixes over here. Um, they're assumed based on the charge of the ions. And then uh, finally, the same thing with the, um, the halogens over here. If we, if we combined uh, sodium and we want to do sodium, say, hypochlorite, it'd be NaClO. And because it's a minus one charge, you just need one sodium. If it was sodium 
perchlorate, this one here, it'd just be NaClO4. And that would be your sodium perchlorate. All right, now on this slide, um, I have a list of uh, remaining common polyatomic ions that you'll come across, uh, particularly in your Chem 106 course here at L-Tri-C. There are others. Uh, these are the most common, uh, and like I said, they're the ones that uh, you'll be expected to learn um, in our physiological chemistry course. There's really not much of an order to these. Uh, it's basically just memorization. Uh, a few things I'd just like to point out for you. Um, first, ammonium. That's the only one um, that has a plus one charge that you need to pay attention to uh, if you're using that. You, know, um, you might recognize hydroxide, uh, OH, minus one. That's our water, uh, very common in water, obviously, uh, the H plus and the OH minus. And um, the, another one, there's a little bit of an order here, chromate and dichromate, di kind of meaning two. And so you notice the chrome goes from one to two, but the oxygen goes from four to seven. So yeah, again, you just have to try to memorize them. Um, I'll also point out acetate, particularly for our Chem 106 students. You're going to be seeing a lot of acetate later on in your course um, in the latter chapters, 11, 12, 13, or whatever. So learning the acetate uh, polyatomic ion uh, will be worth your while. And then finally, uh, one confusion that I always end up having, and I have to try to remember, on these uh, groupings here, carbonate and bicarbonate here, and bisulfite and bisulfate. Um, normally you think of uh, the this um, suffix here of bi meaning two, um, you know, biennial, um, you know, comes to mind. So it normally means two, but in this, uh, in this case, in the chemistry, it does not mean two. And so it's, it's easy to think, well, when you go from carbonate to bicarbonate, somehow you're going to be a double here or two or something. Well, you notice there's nothing like that. <laughs> and so you just have to memorize the difference here. Um, and the same thing between bisulfite and sulfate. Um, uh, if you do remember, sulfate is SO4 and sulfite is SO3. And these bisulfite and bisulfate, you just had a hydrogen in front. Um, but there's no two here, so the, um, uh, you have to be careful, and I have to uh, pay attention when I see the bisulfates uh, and bicarbonates, whatever, that I have to re eliminate that idea that there's two or something in there. So um, uh, hopefully this will um, help you in your work um, and uh, give you at least some idea of uh, how to go about memorizing these uh, polyatomic ions. And... Uh, on this list, similar to the ones I did on the previous page, when you have a compound, again, remember I, I did examples with sodium. If you just put sodium in front, so if it's sodium acetate, um, you just take this acetate here, put a so, uh, Na in front of it, and A is a plus one, this is a minus one, so it, uh, it balances out. So this would be, here would be sodium acetate. Uh, so as you combine a metal with these, uh, you'll have your compounds. Thank you.